Look, I know it can get confusing, especially for complete beginners trying for the first time to learn how to code and make games. You will get frustrated and you will think about quitting and you're not the only one. It happened to me, it will happen to everybody else and this is what I want to talk about in this video. And in case you don't know, Fahir here from awesome2s.com. New setup, new camera, I mean this is just my phone and I don't care that you see the mic because you want good audio quality. And this is another one of my two cents video where I spread the joy, give wisdom, steal from the rich, give to the poor, yada yada yada, you know. But anyways, the other day I got a question from one of my students in one of my courses and I'm going to read you that question now. The title is, I'm seriously about to give up on coding. And when I saw that immediately, I just jumped into that question because I had to answer it. And he said, I'm seriously about to give up on coding. I'm so confused. This is the most confusing thing ever. My brain is so frustrated frustrated trying to understand this i just cannot possibly understand this and for the person who wrote this if you're watching this i'm not gonna mention any names because again i'm spreading wisdom over here because you will benefit and every beginner will benefit from it it happened to me it happened to everybody else but nobody is talking about that and what i want to say is Yes, you will get frustrated and yes, you will not be able to understand everything what's going on right away. And I know a lot of people watch and see online videos like, oh, I learned to code in two months. Uh, oh, I learned to code in one month and got my dream job earning $2 million in one year. And that happens to some people, but those people are, it's like one person in two gazillion people. And also we saw those adverts like coding your games is easier than you think. Well, is it though? But just kidding. Anyways, we know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that statement is true and it's not true. Yes, coding can be easy, but when you know how to learn. And I'm going to talk about that as well. But first things first, you need to understand it's a process. It cannot happen overnight. You will need to have patience. You will need to have momentum. You will need to practice every day. When I say every day, I mean every day. Now, do you need to practice five hours? If you have that time, yes, it will be great. But if not, one hour, two hours, as much as you can, but you need that momentum. You need to, you need that consistency to practice every single day. And you need to know that maybe in your first month, in your second month, in your third month, you will not understand what is going on. You cannot expect to learn everything right away. And that's just the rule of programming. And just to give you a brief, how can I say, to, to paint the picture, when I started to learn how to code, what I did is, and I'm a very disciplined guy, I'm a very disciplined guy, when I make my mind on something, I need to achieve that, even if it means that I will die after that, but I need to do it. So when I started to learn how to code, I used to go to bed at 9 p.m. and wake up at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. when everybody was sleeping. And my friends were like outside, they were having fun, they were talking, watching movies, you know, going out and stuff like that. But I went to bed at 9 p.m. to wake up at 3 a.m. and start learning when everybody else was asleep. Because back then I was studying and I had roommates and yada, yada, yada. But this is how devoted and this is how disciplined I was. And I was doing that for like three, four, I, be, I believe six months. And still I had difficulties understanding what is going on. So it's a process. It's a process. It's simple like that. There are those rare people who will learn how to code in like two months and three months and maybe in one month. But again, it also depends on which type of person you are, how quickly you can learn, how good you can understand, and also the tutorials that you're following. Another thing is that programming is logical. So it takes logical thinking. It's all about problem solving. And a lot of people are not used to that kind of thinking. The majority of people, that is, is not used to that kind of thinking. So you need to think logically. Okay, first I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do that. You also need to understand how programming works in terms of executing the code. And that all comes with you practicing and having patience because, again, it's all part of the process. So that's the second thing that you need to learn how to learn, okay? Learn how to learn. What I mean by this, a lot of people enroll in my courses and other courses online and they expect to learn everything from a course. Look, a course is not something magical. People go to college for four years and they don't learn anything. Like a lot of guys taking my courses also go to college and they spend like two years, three years, four years if they graduate 
and they don't learn anything and they have patience to go through four years of college not learning anything and they don't have patience to wait for one month, two months, three months to learn how to code. Well, it's just how it goes. But as I said, when you start to learn how to code, you need to know that if you go and watch a video, it's not normal that you understand right away everything what's going on. You will understand some things, some things you will not understand, but you need to move forward because maybe the thing that you didn't understand right now, you will understand it later on when you watch a couple of other videos where that thing is explained in more depth or used in some kind of examples, yada, yada, yada. But you get the point how that goes. And also a big part of your learning is that you need to practice. It's not enough for you to just watch a video because I, I've done that. I used, uh, when I started to learn, I used uh, the first language that I learned was Java and I used a really good book. It had over 2000 pages. Now what I did, I went twice through that book. It's 4,000 pages. I went twice and I used notes and I wrote everything down and I wrote example. I didn't write code on my computer. I wrote it in my book. That's how devoted and disciplined I was. And I had like 400 pages of my notebook written down, you know, like examples from that book notes and whatnot. It took me like three months to study that book. And it, at the end, I didn't learn anything. The reason was because I was not practicing what I was learning at that time. So this is what I see a lot of people don't do as well up until today. They just go through videos and they expect after that to just jump into coding and understand what is going on. That's not gonna happen and this is not how things work. So if you, for example, follow one of my courses and let's say I create a character and I make him move left and right. Try to make him move up and down, change the code, see what happens, remember what you changed, then apply another change and see how the code and how the game is behaving. This is how you will learn faster. So it's not enough for you just to follow the course because the course is just there to give you guidelines, which is very important because one of the main issues or the main reason why it took me a year to learn how to code and how to make games is because the tutorials that I had at that time were poorly constructed. They were not practical. They were not creating games, real world games that is. They were just creating you know, parts of the game, like how to create a main menu, how to press a button and so on and so forth. So you guys have a lot, you are lucky that you have tutorials like the ones that you can find on YouTube today, even though they're not that, you know, at that level of quality that I would love them to be. But hey, you have online courses and even up till today, people don't create quality courses in terms of examples and so on and so forth. That's why I started Awesome Tutors and I try to create the best tutorials to help you because having good examples is also one of the main things that you need in order to learn how to code and how to make games more quickly. So to sum it up, you need to be patient. You just need to understand that you will not be able to grasp everything right away. Even if it's one month, two months, three months, for some people it takes more. You watch me how I code now, you think, oh, he's a computer genius, he's a programming wizard. Yeah, but it took me a year to learn. And I have a lot of students who learn how to make games in two months, in three months, in four months. They learned it quicker, 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 quicker than I did. That is because they have good guidance and they have devoted themselves and they have patience. So be patient know how to learn as I just explained. So it's not enough for you just to follow, but you also need to practice, okay? So what you learn, you also need to practice and try to implement that on your own. And also make sure that you follow good examples, practical examples. Don't just follow, you know, like, in my courses, I introduce you to the basics very quickly. Like I introduce variables, functions, classes, objects, object oriented programming, and so on and so forth. Then I start implementing that in games to show you how you can use a float, how you can use a double, how you can use a function and so on and so forth. So don't be desperate. Don't get frustrated. I mean, you can get frustrated while you're trying to solve something, but don't think about quitting because you might be like one step before you learn and understand everything and you quit at that point. So what did you do? You just wasted time. So don't do that. Don't think about like program. Oh, is it for me? Because I thought that as well. And now making a living 
creating games, teaching people how to make games. So yeah, programming is for me. I joined every second of it, but it was difficult for me to learn it at first because again, I didn't have good guidance and so on and so forth. And this is where I come back to coding your games is easier than you think. Yes, it is. But when you understand how to learn and when you understand that you need to have patience and when you understand that you need to follow good examples. So don't quit. Just continue, even if you don't understand something right away and you try to understand it, maybe you spend a week and you still don't understand it, move forward. Don't worry about that. Leave that behind you because it will come. It will come time where you will understand that when you see more examples, when you create more games or apps. This come, What I said right now applies to programming as well as game development. So this is my two cents. Again, if you have questions about anything, please ask them in the comment below this video. And uh, yeah, that's my two cents. This is my rant. This is my... The, the gold that I stole from the rich and gave to the poor and now the poor are rich and yeah, <laughs> no offense to anyone. But yeah, uh, if you want to check out my Ultimate Game Development Academy where you can learn for very cheap, I have 37 courses currently, 37 courses and I will add more. Link will be in the description below. If you want to sign up to my email list, link will be also in the description below where I send a lot of advices about what I just talked about and give you how, you know, like tips and tricks, what to learn, where to learn, so on and so forth. You get the point. I'm just going to cut out this video because I know you're tired. If you're watching up to this point, fire here from AwesomeDudes.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.